What's going on everybody? Resale Rabbit here. Hope you had a good Independence Day. Hope your city wasn't destroyed by the aliens before Will Smith could save us. I had fun. I went downtown by the river, watched the fireworks. It was a slow sales day both on Amazon and eBay. People are out doing stuff. It's the 4th of July. People aren't buying stuff. I'm sure we've all seen that, but I did have three sales, so let's grab them. I sold a Wii remote for 10 bucks. Additionally, I've got around here somewhere, I think, another item. Let's see, where is it? Is it up here? Well, I thought it was over here. I was hoping to get it in one shot, and I guess I'm not going to. It's hiding on me. Where could it be? You know, I was looking at it the whole time. It just kind of blended in here. This walkie-talkie sold for 18 bucks, just a single unit. Now, here's the story on this. I bought a set of these for, I think, like 6 bucks at Milwaukee Goodwill intending to sell them for like 60 on Amazon. Problem is, after I got here, I realized the antenna was broken on one of them. It was just a rubber cosmetic piece that goes over it, nothing important, it still worked, but couldn't send them to Amazon. So I listed them separately on eBay, sold the first one pretty quick at like 10 or 12 bucks. This one sold today for 18. And lastly, I sold a lot of five refrigerator filters for $30.99. I bought these at a garage sale at the Swamico Community Sales. You saw it on video. I think I paid like five bucks for them. So I got scammed. Um, I rarely get scammed. I do take the right precautions. I sold a Nintendo 64 Atomic Purple controller on eBay. Uh, got it back. Let me show you what I got back. It, it's this, by the way. This is not a real Nintendo controller. The logo is missing here, and it is missing, where is it? Right there. Uh, this is a third party made by a different company. It was probably made in the past couple of years. It's in really good shape. This thing looks like it was barely used, if at all. This was not the controller I sent. Somebody returned uh, a fake controller and kept my real one on Amazon. So I'm out like 25 bucks or so. That said, I can't even, I'm not even going to bother contacting Amazon about it because A, it's only 25 bucks, and B, this was months ago. This was in a pile of returns. I've been so busy with Shopko that I haven't had a chance to even go through these returns. I'm just now doing it. So it would seem kind of weird two months after the fact complaining about something. Uh, but scams do happen on Amazon. And I, in my opinion, a lot more on Amazon than on eBay. You just got to roll with it. This thing, yes, I'm out 25 bucks when you factor what I sold it for and everything, but not really because I would have paid like two or three bucks for this. So I'm really only out two or three bucks plus any fulfillment fees that that I had to basically pay to do it. My only concern is if the buyer said that it's not a real controller trying to get a return, but I have a feeling they didn't. They just returned it with this. So today, I almost bought a house. I found out Sunday that a house was going up for auction. They did not advertise it well, it was in rough shape. I went there, looked at it outside, couldn't go inside. Went there, the house was gonna be sold at 6 p.m. today at auction. It's at 5 p.m., I got there, went through the house, I had my contractor with me, I had a person with me that was gonna go in half uh, on the buy cost and everything and on the work. And uh, we were there, we looked through the house, it needed a lot of work. But, unfortunately, I didn't get it. I almost got it. Uh, the opening bid, I started it at $2,000. I almost had it at $3,000. But then someone came in, bid it against me up to ten. Ten thousand five hundred I bid, and, well, here's how it went. It will have a clear title. There will be no bad taxes. Everything will be paid up front and up to date. We cannot close it if it's not. Okay? We are not charging you by a premium. If you look down my ad, it does not say anywhere that you're going to pay me 10%. There is no buyer premium. You are paying what you pay. So if any questions at all on the real estate, that's pretty clear, I guess. <laughs> Closing as soon as you can. 
Expect probably within 30 days, but whenever you're ready, we'll be ready. Any questions? Sir, me where then? 20,000, day 20, here about 20, 20, here about 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 20, Eleven thousand. Right. You owned it for almost a couple minutes. Eleven thousand. <laughs> Ten five. Eleven thousand. Ten five. Eleven thousand. Eleven thousand. Tomorrow's eleven thousand again. I'm just going to tell you. Tomorrow's too late. Matter of fact, five minutes from now is too late. Eleven thousand. Eleven thousand five hundred. Yes. Eleven five. Right here. Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. I got twelve five. Let it go. Twelve five. Twelve thousand. No. Twelve five. Twelve five. Is everybody done? Fair warning. Twelve five. Twelve five. So it sold for twelve thousand dollars, and I'm kind of kicking myself for not buying it because I feel like that would have made a great YouTube video. But that was my cap, 12000 I thought about bidding twelve five, but I let it go. It was a cool house. It was a one-bedroom. Well, here, let me show you the outside. It was a one-bedroom house that uh, was a storefront once upon a time. It had a big storefront in the front. Now, it's in a, in a neighborhood. You're not going to run a store in a neighborhood. It probably isn't even zoned for it. But... It had so much potential. There was a bedroom in the back of the house. There was, uh, right in front of that was the kitchen and dining room. And they had this big open area for the storefront that you could turn into a big living room with another bedroom and a second bathroom right behind it. And then the entire upstairs, there were stairs going upstairs with an entrance from outside and inside. So you could make the second floor a small one bedroom apartment I didn't like that idea because there wasn't a lot of parking. You could probably fit two cars, but they'd be in front of one in front of the other. But you could easily put a third bedroom upstairs. Houses in the area, three bedrooms were comping at about 140,000. Two bedrooms were comping at about 90,000. And I could have made money, but the contractor quoted me 60,000 in work. It needed a lot of work. It needed to be completely rewired. It needed some plumbing issues. It had uh, some foundation issues that were repaired, but water was still coming in, would need to be addressed. Uh, it needed to be completely gutted. Siding on the outside would need to come off, be redone. It needed a ton of work. He was saying about 60000 So I had to let it go. I figured for, even if it ends up being a money pit, you know, once we start opening the walls and find out that it has major issues for twelve grand, tear the house down and sell the empty lot, make your money back. But it didn't quite work out that way. Someone else bought it. Maybe I'll find, oh, maybe I'll find another house in the near future. But anyways, so that is what happened today. Let's ship some eBay orders. So on eBay, I've got 12 sales today for $312.70. For starters, I sold a Polaroid shirt. It's gonna be a size medium. That's gonna be this one. I got $27.99 for it, a t-shirt. Uh, new with tags, I bought it for 10 bucks at Marshall's. Sold a pair of size nine shoes. That is gonna be these. I paid 50 cents on those Target pallets of Overstock. Sold for $14.99, full price. Next, we're looking for N01. That's three. Is that this one? N01. This, you've seen him in other videos. In fact, I think you saw it in this video as well from the, the previous day. Uh, I got 40 bucks for this. It does uh, dictation and mouse movement for medical software. I sold one of these inflators for $34.99. I've got a whole pallet of these. They were customer returns from Home Depot. Uh, tested the ones that tested working are listed 
Here's another bad shop go by. These things I bought for Amazon. Didn't have great a great signal in the store. I think I paid like four bucks each maybe. So that puts me at $12. I sold them for $34.99 for the pack of three. So I'm still probably gonna double my money on it. So I suppose it's not that bad of a buy, but I was intending to send them on Amazon, had to liquidate them on eBay. Apparently that brand is restrict restricted. Back to the shoes, I sold an eight and a half. So this, that's an eight and a half for, uh, I forgot how much now. Um, again, paid 50 cents on the Target pallets and it sold for $13. I took an offer. Sold this guy for 20 bucks. It is used, but it's complete and working. I tested the iPod dock with an old iPod. I got 20 bucks for it. Sold another, we can barely reach, another price gun, 25 bucks. Let me get a better grip here. 25 bucks, price gun with a roll of labels. I got this from one of the Jim Barrier Crazy 8 stores when it sold. We got a whole bunch of them. You can see up here. I paid, I think I might have paid like three bucks for all of them. And this is the second one I've sold so far. I took an offer on 25 with this one. I don't remember what I sold the other one for, but it was comparable. All right, BB01. How convenient is that? That's four. There it is. I sold both of these, two separate buyers for $14.99 each. They are swimsuits. These also came on the pallets of Target clothing. So I paid 50 cents each. So it turned a buck into 30 between the two. Turns out I sold another one of these also, $34.99. And lastly, this is something you should look out for, flip clocks. Oh, this isn't even a flip clock. They rotate. Um, anyways, I sold this for $34.99. That seems to be the price today. Everything's $34.99. Uh, and I think I paid four or five bucks for it. I don't remember. It's been a while. So that are, that, that are, that is my sales today. Not a bad day. Amazon is decent as well. Let me look up what the number is as of now. 16 sales for $424. I've been doing well on, on Amazon lately. So anyways, that is how I almost bought a house and some stuff that I sold. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.